So Marvel decides to drop a Black Panther pet trailer when I'm at work this morning, East Coast time, around 9.30, or a little bit before then, they dropped it. So I watched it about a million and one times already. So there is no reaction going up. I never do shot by shots or trailer breakdowns, but we're going to do one for this one because I want to watch it a million more times. Everett Ross is speaking at the beginning of this. Now, if you don't know who Everett Ross, Ross is, he was a character created in the comics by Christopher Priest, the guy who did a run on the Black Panther comics back in the late 90s. And he's an interesting character, to say the least. He was very humorous. Um, very sarcastic at the same time. Um, he first appeared in the Civil War. We saw him in the Civil War. And Mark Freeman playing him. Wow, look at that. Kind of hidden by like a camouflage. You know, Wakanda looks very much like how, what I thought he was going to do. I've seen some of the artwork before. It's a stepmom. Stepmom. You get to decide. Oh, the outfits look so good in here. The regular outfits, not the costumes and stuff like that. Don't freeze. I never freeze. I know a lot of people was freaking out when they saw this part. They're like, what is that he's throwing? I never know what's going on Black Panther because in the comics, they're the most technologic, te most tech savvy, advanced tech nation in the world. So he's going to have some tech like that. A friend of mine didn't even know he had like light daggers and things like that. Like, yeah, if you don't read the comics, you don't know the hat. A Black Panther suit came on. It's like that in the comics. Been like that for a few years now. Killmonger. Eric Killmonger. Now this is interesting. What happens now? Determines what happens. That's what I'm saying is interesting. Pause right there. Eric Killmonger has his own version of this Black Panther suit. Now if you look at the helmet, it looks kind of like a leopard or maybe even a jaguar, more so like a leopard, I, I believe, because in the comics he has these pet leopards, or it might be jaguars, I can't remember. He also has a wife whose name is Lady Slay. But um, yeah, I saw, me and my nephew saw the action figures for this, and they had like a Black Panther outfit that was black and gold, and it said Eric Killmonger. My nephew was like, why does he have a Black Panther outfit? Well, it kind of makes sense that he would at least have some kind of tech on outfit, even if it's not a Black Panther and it's a leopard or, or whatever. The reason why is he has to match, you know, T'Challa's technology if he wants to fight him and take over. Eric is somebody who was mad at T'Challa for joining the Avengers in the comics at a certain point in time. And he did that for his own personal reasons, to see if they could be friends or foe, to learn more about him. He's very strategic, T'Challa, I mean. But um, Eric Killmonger felt like, you don't deserve to rule Wakanda, I should rule. So once every year somebody's allowed to challenge the reigning king and Black Panther, protector of Wakanda. I don't know why I did that to uh, see if they can take up the mantle. And Eric does it all the time. He even came close, uh, I think he beat him one time. Claw invented some serum for him that gave him the enhanced senses and strength and speed like uh, most of Black Panthers get from eating the heart-shaped herb that grows in their region of the world. And found out it was a, a herb that was mutated by the vibranium meteorite that hit long ago. But anyway, so I think that's cool and it's interesting and makes sense to me. He wants to take over the mantle as king, so he has his own outfit, costume, whatever. Makes sense to me. Can't wait to see Michael B. Jordan do this role. A lot of people were saying, hey, he's got an American accent. He doesn't have an African accent like everybody else. True. Don't know what's up with that. Hope it makes sense in the movie. They went to school together. They went to NYU together, I believe, in the comics. So if they have flashback scenes where they show that, Maybe he spent more time in America than T'Challa did. To the rest of the world. Chadwick Boseman was so good at acting, man. I, I was glad when I heard he was casting Black Panther. From the little bit that I saw him. But he doesn't. I, I think that's the underground city. There's like this tech jungle where there's no organic life. Ooh. Claw. Some type of arm. Man. Another friend of mine was like, like, what's up with that purple stuff when we saw a poster a while back? Um, and um, I was like, that's his armor. You know, in the comics, you will see some uh, purple tribal marks light up in his armor when he does certain things. Like he releases some of the energy that his vibranium armor stores. Just like in that shot where he took out that tire, he has a suit made of vibranium. Made the same thing as Captain America's shield. 
unbreakable absorbs impact so anything behind it on the other side doesn't get damaged if you have a whole suit like that you don't need a shield you're going to stand there you're going to take bullets you can put your hand in the middle of a tire and let all kinds of damage happen it takes no damage on the other side of the vibrator it absorbs all impact so damage and all that and it's like unbreakable you know you can only uh it's it's crazy but having a suit like that you'd be able to do some things like this you know, he can get knocked around and everything, but it's just inside the suit. He takes no damage, really. Um, but, man, this looks fantastic. I wanted to speak on it. It was another shot in here where they show uh, who I believe to be Man Ape. I forgot what his name is. What is his name? Oh, jeez. I keep forgetting what his official name is, his real name. But Man Ape is a character who I don't think is going to look like an ape because he does. He wears, like, the skin of a white ape of Wakanda, and he has enhanced strength. Speed, I believe, senses too. He's also a guy. There's different ideologies in Wakanda. Like, they're shut off from the rest of the world, and they they pride themselves on the technology and the vibranium. And Manate feels like we shouldn't do that. We don't need that. Technology isn't as important as nature. And then Eric Killmonger's like, you protecting Wakanda? You need to stay here. Stop leaving. You're not a real king. And it's it's just always those three in a circle, and it's both of them against T'Challa, but both of them want to just be rulers of. Wakanda, this is going to be fantastic. I believe, anyway. Um, there was a lot of shots in here and things that was going on. His suit, uh, the tech suit, you know, Black Panther's suit, it's been like that for quite some time. I think, what, 2006, during the Civil War run in the comics, he's had different suits. He had a light suit and a morphing suit where, you know, uh, heavier armor, vibranium armor would morph onto his suit. And this was why he was married to Storm, I believe so. So if anybody thinks, like, oh, it just happened like that in the comics now, no, it's been like that for a while. And like I said, Christopher Priest was a guy who took over writing Black Panther in 1998. He felt like Black Panther should be more recognizable and just as cool as Batman. So he gave him a bunch of new gadgets, like a, uh, what is it, a Kamoyo card or something like that. It's like a smart computer, basically like a smartphone back in 98. And it, it, was, it was a smart computer. He had the light dagger, where you know, he can throw energy daggers from it. Um, also, it's, it can has different levels. It can be like a mini lightsaber, or it could be like a stun gun, and it can even leave an energy pulse or signal for him to track and trace if he hits somebody with it. He can trace him later. Um, but yeah, he has a bunch of tech, you know. And, and, and Wakanda looks like it's represented so good in this, the the look and feel of it, like that underground. Um, he has like a hidden tech jungle where it's not uh, organic based plant life. It's like tech based. Trees are made of technology and stuff like that. It's crazy. And that looks like that was in a couple of shots. It looked like an underground world with a bunch of trains going around. I believe that's probably what it is. I read a lot of old Black Panther comics. Or I even read them his first couple of appearances in Fantastic Four back in the 60s. But it, it, it's a cool character. He's so cool. I got into him really late um, in the 2000s, early 2000s. I really got into him. When I was young and I was a kid, I, I used to collect comic cards and I saw Black Panther and I was reading about him. I'm like, oh, so he's like Sabretooth. Uh, nah, that's cool. I I'll pass. I didn't know the history. I didn't know his story. I didn't know, like, what Wakanda was all about. And now I've seen him in some Avengers comics or other people's comics. Him and Spider-Man teamed up before. It was pretty cool. It's just I didn't get into him until I really got into what Black Panther's all about. But this is interesting. I can't wait to see this. I'm going to watch this one more time. At least one more time today. I can't wait to see this movie. But anyway, that's all I got. It was just a little breakdown of some of the stuff I saw in the trailer. What I, I show you, I know what's going on. Explain some of these things to you. If you don't know, if you do know, you're probably just as excited as me. It's a good trailer, man. I wish I didn't watch it when I was at work, but I couldn't sit around all day with that trailer in my pocket. I had to watch it. I could have done a live reaction, but I couldn't do that today. But this was just a mini breakdown. I didn't break down every single shot in this, but just a mini breakdown. Anyway, leave some comments if you want to leave some comments. If you don't, just come back next time. Subscribe, share the video, whatever, whatever, whatever. See you next time.